على فكرة هي زيزي لسه موجودة هدي نفسك شوية <تصفيق> زيزي خدت مني مجهود كتير جدا because there's a lot of mannerisms and physical tics and stuff that I felt I needed to add to this character to truly bring her to life I really needed to understand how ADHD patients think in moments of stress or in moments of anxiety this is when one of the physical mannerisms appear so there was like her shaking of her foot or like her fingers can feel مثلا عينيها لايك ساعات كانت بتدربش جوجل از اور بيست فريند فطبعا there was a lot of reading that was done i have many of my friends that do have ADHD and they also very much inspired me because you can as an actor you you become very observant of people around you فيو اند اب بيكينج اب ثينجز من الناس اللي حواليكي and of course طبعا there was a lot of work between me and Karim Shinawi علشان نقدر ان احنا نحطها ما تبقاش برده مأفوره eventually i became zizi يعني you know i خلاص بقيت فهماها وحافظاها وصماها وعارفه how she would react towards حاجات معينه وفي مواقف معينه هتبقى reactions بتاعتها عامله ازاي تصرفاتها عامله ازاي ف it became almost natural to me the whole issue of uh, awareness about mental illness and so on i think is very important and it hasn't been discussed the tariqa di قبل كده because you're taking a very very serious issue but you're tackling it in a very light way فبتبقى سهله ان انت تبلعي الكلام اللي بيتقال وانك تفهميها as opposed to having it portrayed in a very dark way يعني على بيوتيفول مايند دي يس اتس ا جريت فيلم بس اتس فيري هيفي وانا حسيت انه الشعب المصري محتاج ان هو يبقى عنده اويرنس على الحاجات دي اللي هو ناس كتيره قوي بتتغاضى عنها وما بتعترفش بيها وما بتحترمهاش زي ما احنا بنعترف ب فيزيكال انس انت عندك كل الاطراف انت متعاطفه معاها يعني انت متعاطفه مع البنت اللي كبرت من غير ما يبقى عندها وعي ان هي عيانه فطول الوقت الناس بتقول انها مجنونه والاكتشاف بتاعها ان هي بتكتشف انه لا انا مش مجنونه هو انا انا عندي حاجه يعني في سبب ليه انا عامله كده عندك الهدى مثلا الام اللي بنتها عندها اي دي اتش دي وهي مش عارفه تعمل ايه فهي لايصه ذا بيرنتس ذات have come to realize that they were the source of a lot of traumas for their daughter كل الكاركترز انت هتتعاطفي معاها it's very relatable وانا ناس كتيره جدا بعتت لي بتقول لي احنا كل بيت في مصر عنده زيزي how the story unfolds in a way that makes it relatable and light and entertaining and at the same time برضه beneficial ف that combo بالنسبه لي was just you know <laughs> priceless <laughs> To me, this mother-daughter relationship is very interesting. يعني, and especially the changes that happen مع نريمان وزيزي كم الكراهية وكم الغضب اللي كانوا الاثنين have for each other. احنا مش عايزين نبين العلاقة الصالحة. Life is not pink. نوع العلاقات دي أما بتبان على الكاميرا بتنور حاجة جوه دماغ الأم وجوه دماغ البنت. هل ممكن ده يفرق وارد؟ وأنا مشور إنه someone somewhere changed. And that's really... The most important thing, يعني أنا راضية يعني أنا مش عايزة أي حاجة أكتر من الدنيا. <laughs> Every single relationship between mother and daughter has something that's very loving and very compassionate, and has something dysfunctional. You have to understand that sometimes mothers don't know any better because of the generation gap, and you start to accept your mom as a human being. And at the same time, it sheds light on moms. to also start dealing with their children as human beings even at an old age and that they're not their children anymore you know يعني عارفه دايما الام بتيجي تقول انت لحد ما يبقى عندك 60 سنه هتبقي بنتي الصغيره يعني كلنا سمعنا الجمله دي you know بس yes this is very true and we're always going to be mommy's little girl forever but also mothers need to understand that they need to respect their daughters also and that they need to accept that they are human beings that are going to take their own decisions This is truly يعني the biggest blessing and no yes art can change the world ان الناس تبقى متحمسه ان هي تغير من نفسها وتحسن من نفسها عشان هم شافوا حاجه that inspired them somewhere I'm so grateful يعني yeah. علاقه زيزي وهشام is the typical علاقه of a dishonest relationship he was not honest with her about تطور مشاعره فده بيوريكي انه لو الاونستي بيلر في علاقه مش موجود انه اتس جوينج تو ليد تو 
فشل علاقه زيزي ومراد از كومبليتلي بيست اون اونستي ذا دي ان هي وقفت وهزقته اي دونت ثينك انه اني ون هاد اكتشلي ايفر سيد ذس تو مراد فذس واز ا بيج سلاب اون ذا فيس فور هيم الصدق والصراحه والاوبننس والترانسبيرنسي وكده از از فيري فيري امبورتنت Every single mashhad I was in was emotionally challenging. <laughs> Every single one. Zizi sitting and having coffee is Zizi at the end of the day. But it's still going to be a coffee be dilit or a glass be tazz or or the telephone be out. Zizi is very emotional. So when when the door of her emotional traumas is open, just. في بكابورت بيتفتح مثلا المشهد بتاع مواجهه فوق شو نريمان مشهد زيزي وهشام بتاع الشارع مشهد تيتو اما تيتو بتتاخد عشان هيرجعوها المنصوره this was traumatizing i think that i i was lucky to be working with an incredible crew of actors and they just made everything so much easier this show is made with a lot of love and a lot of compassion women want to live in love they want a life where they can give love they want a life where they can get love to give love in their work to give love to their children to give love to their family to give love to their husband to their friends they just want to live in a world that's full of love